and welcome back to Stuart Gibbs Photography. I've got another tutorial for you today and this one is incredibly easy to do. You can do this on any camera you like. You can do it on your phone, you can do it on a DSLR, you can do it on a mirrorless, you can do it on a compact, you can do it on pretty much any camera you have got. It is so, so simple. It's got to be probably a couple of pounds to buy everything to do with the project. But it's a really cool one that you're gonna make some nice little artworks out of and maybe even some photo gifts. It is that simple. So we're gonna start off with part one. Next part I'm gonna to have to do tomorrow, but I will attach it to this video. So, but part one, we're gonna prepare ready for our photo shoot. So what I've got is I've got myself some citrus fruits. Um, not too sure whether a kiwi glasses is citrus fruit. I'm not too sure, I don't eat a lot of fruit, as you can probably tell. Um, but we're gonna start off, we've got our fruit, we've got ourselves a shallow baking tray, we've got a jug of water, we've got a knife or two, and we've got a chopping board. You can probably see where this one's going already. So we're gonna start off by chopping some of our fruit. Now we only want slices for this. So we're gonna start off with a few slices of orange. Reason I have chosen citrus fruits for this is for the colours. The colours on this stuff is amazing. And I can imagine once the pictures are all put together that it's gonna look absolutely spot on. So we're gonna lay our orange into the tray. I'm gonna have to do that one a little bit thinner. We're gonna wanna keep these quite thin so that they do fit onto your tray and that we can submerse them into the water. So that's three. I don't wanna do too many of these. Orange is a very bold color. Made a hash of that one, but it doesn't matter. And we'll come and we'll do our lemon next. And again, the colors are superb. I can imagine this is gonna but absolutely amazing when it is done. Well, I'm gonna carry on chopping my fruit and I'll get back to showing you the rest of the tutorial once I'm done. Right then, so I've popped all my um, sliced fruit into the shallow baking tray and I'm going to pour, sorry, um, sticky hands. I'm going to pour in the water. Not so it's overflowing, I just want it to cover most of the fruit. Some of it will start to float, but that's absolutely fine. So I just want the water in there. That's looking really, really good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop that into the freezer overnight, and wait for that to freeze, and then she'll get that out tomorrow, and we'll come back to part two then. See you soon. So just a little recap on what we've been up to so far. We've sliced all our fruit and we've arranged it nicely in our shallow baking tray. We've poured our water over the top. Now we've used normal tap water as we want this to frost when it freezes. And we've popped that in the freezer overnight, ready to start shooting tomorrow. Right, so I thought I'd run you through my setup very quickly. Now I've got this set up on my kitchen table and the reason I've done that is so that you can see it within the video and I can get everything within the frame. Um, but you can easily do this on, um, on the kitchen floor or anything like that. I, now I've got two chairs set up either side with a gap between so that I can place a piece of glass or a piece of um, translucent plastic or something like that ready to hold my ice block in place. Now I've got my ice block out of the freezer and I've popped that 
on top of the glass and underneath that I have, if you can see that here, I have my Godox AD200 um, flash and I have a LED head that I've added onto that. Now you can, you can use any light source that you like, it can be a lamp, it can be a flash gun, anything that you like, anything that will light up will work for this. Now I've also got a set of gels and I'm going to use these a little bit later on into the shoot so I can produce some different colours within the picture. You can see that just lighting up under my face in different colours. So they should add a nice effect to some of the eyes. Now you can use any camera you like. It can be your phone, it can be a tablet, it could be a DSLR, a bridge camera, a mirrorless, absolutely anything you've got will work for this. Now you can either put it on complete um, auto or you can do this in manual settings, it's totally up to you. But I also have my little pop-up flash on the top just to give it a little extra light from above. Now if you've got a pop-out screen for this, if you're working at the same sort of height as me, pop-out screen is all awesome because when I hold my camera above, I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Without the pop-out screen, I'm going to need to grab a chair so I can look straight over the top and through the viewfinder. So we're going to give this a quick go, grab a few shots and see what they look like. I'm going to line everything up within the frame and I'm going to get a nice big shot just to start with. I'm just going to play that and see what that looks like. Oh, everything's looking awesome. That's brilliant. Very vibrant colours. I'm going to come in a little bit closer, try some different angles. Trying to find a composition within, within my setup. Ah, brilliant. Hover in just over the top there. And focus in. That's brilliant, got a few nice shots there. So now I'm going to try adding in my gels. So I'm going to start off with the blue one. Should make my ice look really um, cold and cool. So and again, just coming in above to take a few shots there. That's brilliant. Have a quick look at that. Nice and cold. Now just grab a couple more of those. They're looking cool. Alright, gonna try a couple of other colours. Now what you can do um, now is you can either head into Photoshop and follow me or you can post these straight out your camera either way they're gonna look pretty cool you don't need Photoshop for this one so you can you can, can post them straight out your camera and they're gonna look pretty wicked um, straight from there but I hope you've enjoyed this really simple project if you have it is something that everyone can have a go at so if, please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may um, Enjoy doing this little project and we'll bring you more next week. Ta-ta for now. After taking my first few shots, I um, scuffed up all the ice on the top using a fork and it added a really nice effect. I've then taken a few shots on my phone, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Right, so I've opened up two of my images into Adobe Camera Raw. Um, the first one that you see here is before I scuffed the ice up. I've not used any filters and I've used a flash on that shot as well. So we've got a few little highlights on top of the ice. 
and then the second one is after I'd scuffed up the ice I'd used a blue um, filter over the top of my light and it's lost a little bit of contrast but we can put that back in so we're going to work on the top one first and I think there's too much that needs doing to this I'm quite happy with the white balance but we can go through autos it's a little bit cold um, I might keep it just as we shot it and I'm just going to push my shadows up to the right just to lighten the shadows up a little bit and I'm just going to pop a little bit of contrast in there as well happy with that I'm going to push my clarity up works for this type of shot that's superb really happy with that last thing I'm going to do is just sharpen it I'm going to push that up to around about 95 that's really good so I'm going to come down to my second shot now this has lost a little bit of contrast really like the white balance on it so I'm going to stick with that white balance and I'm going to bring my blacks down just to add a little bit of contrast in it I'm going to knock my exposure up ever so slightly I'm going to bring my clarity up, same as I did on the other one, which I'm doing just to taste. That's nice. I'm going to bring my vibrance up on this one a little bit as well. Really happy with that. We've got two very, very different images um, from the same shoot. I'm just going to push my sharpening up a little on that one round about the same as the last one I think scuffing the ice has worked really really nice for that shot so I'm going to open them both up into Photoshop so I'm going to come up onto my film strip I'm going to click on these striped lines I'm going to go to select all and then I'm going to come down to open images and they will open into Photoshop Right, so that's both of my images have opened into Photoshop. There's just a few things I'm going to do just to sort them out. Now, I'm going to come up to my levels adjustments. And anyone that knows me will know that I like to increase my blacks a little bit. And I'm also going to decrease my highlights. Now, that's looking very, very good. I'm quite happy with that as it is. I could possibly just push my curves up slightly just to brighten the whole image. And I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to come down to my background layer. I'm going to right click and select flatten image. And that one's done. Happy with that one. And then my other image. Again, very, very happy with this. It's all looking superb uh, the only thing that I'm not too happy about is the um, little highlights I'm getting from the flash so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my background layer down to the new layer panel and then I'm going to come across and I'm going to select my spot healing brush tool and I'm just going to run the brush just a nice small brush over the top of those highlights just to help get rid of those that's really nice and then I'm going to come to my curves adjustment just going to push that up ever so slightly that's nice and I'm going to come to my levels and just on my blacks just going to darken those ever so slightly as well and I select the base layer and right click and come to flatten image and that's my two images done now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you like the, the ones that I did on my phone as well this really is a great project that you can do with absolutely any camera and um, if you liked this video please subscribe to the channel and um, for more videos next week ta-ta for now